Ah oh, yes, my DVD collection. As you may or may not know, I used to have loads of films. You look in my past like DVD hauls and monthly hauls. I used to have tons, but thanks to my XL gun now. I've actually even chucked them all. The council's come and took them away and put them in the bin or whatever. Anyway, this is all I've got, so let's have a look. We've got Lady in the Water. I never really understood this film, but I just got it because it's cheap. There's a disc. Beautiful and enigmatic fantasy. It's about her, she just like turns up, I think. We really understand it. There's that. Next up, we've got this one. This is. Um, Grim Weekend. It's about this killer clown. I think it, one of the um, people in the group is a killer, and the rest have got to like, work out who it is before he kills everyone. Sorry about the camera the quality. I've got to get like, probably like camera in my l and um, a laptop. Yeah, I'm just using my like cheapy phone. Five people, one weekend, twelve miles from nowhere. There's some pictures. Next up, we got one of my favourite Resident Evils, Resident Evil Apocalypse number two. I've seen them all, but I've not seen Resident Evil the final chapter. I've still got to get that. There's a disc for that. Be yeah, I just like this one. After narrowly escaping the horrors of the underground hive facility, Alice is quickly thrust back into a war raging above ground between the living and the undead. As the city is locked down under quarantine, Alice joined a small band of elite soldiers led by Jill Valentine and Carlos. It's a heart pounding race against time as group faces off against hordes of bloodthirsty zombies, stealth, stealthy lickers, mutant canines, and most sinister foe yet. Um, yeah, but yeah, I just love this one. There's some pictures. Next up, we've got Terminator Salvation. Not really one of my favourites, but, um, the reason why I got it is quite silly, really. In the shop, at the time, there's, there's this nice-looking person in there, and I just wanted to, like, hang about in the shop a bit longer. <laughs> a bit weird, I know, so I just picked this up. Next up, <clears throat> this is a great film, I used to have this unstoppable, about this um, train, as you see there, and they've got to stop it before it just like, kills a load of people and stuff, it's awesome, sort of edge on your seat, will they, will, won't they sort of thing, it's brilliant, it's got um, Denzel Washington and Chris Pine in, but yes, good film that. Next up, there is <coughs> Whoopi Goldberg, star Whoopi Goldberg, starring in Sister Act One and Two, Back in the Habit. I got this from my mum. There's a disc for that. Whoopi Goldberg, what a fun little um film. She, she's basically run away from the um. Yeah, I think she ran away from the um, police and she just like hides out and then like, pretends to be a nun. Then after a while she just like enjoys it and stuff, I think. But yeah, there's that. And then we go on to this one. Extreme Measures, Who Grant, Gene Hackman. That's a thriller, I don't really remember much about it. Riverton and Edge of Your Seat Thriller. Just got it because it's cheap, it's a pound for cash converters. Next we've got the Her Locker. I've always wanted to see this one, just because I heard it was really good. But I've seen about half of it. From the half I've seen, it's about like bomb disposal teams and stuff. 50p from uh, CEX. The most stunning nerve shredding film you'll ever see this year. See, I've got to I'll watch it again and actually see the rest of it. So, as I certainly see half. 
Next we've got some comedy, we've got Family Guy, episodes 5 to 8. Sort of really fun sort of adult comedy animation. And then we've got Cleveland Loretta Quagmire, we've got Petara, Brian the Bachelor, and 8 Simple Rules for Buy My Teenage Daughter. See, then we've got this one. Episodes 9 to 13, season 4. Breaking out is hard to do. Model misbehaviour. Peter's got woods. Perfect castaway. Jungle love. <laughs> Next we've got that. Episodes 1 to 4. I'll have to be a bit quicker because my phone's about to die. Next up we've got Loveline Neighbour. I only got this because um, him, Rudolph Walk, is like now in EastEnders, it's like an English soap opera. He's back then, back then he was quite young. So I've, so I've not, not watched this yet. It's sort of really, really old sort of comedy. Take a light hearted look at the problem of colour through your eyes of a white couple. Eddie and Joan Booth and a black couple, Bill and Barbara Reynolds, who move next door. This series helps take some of the heat out of. Race relations by showing the funny side of everyday conflict. Okay. It's about neighbours that live together. And you got this one too. This series 5. The other one series 6. Bless This House, which I'm watching at the moment. So, just a like family type comedy really. Quite a lot of episodes on there. I used to watch it when I was young. We've got Peep Show. Another English comedy. You, you, you get to like hear their thoughts and stuff. What they think about the people really and stuff. It's about a group of house of uh, flatmates that live together. There's a disc for that. But yeah, it's quite good. And that's all I've got at the moment. I think my favourites are probably Resident Evil, just because I love that film. And, um, <coughs> Family Guy, that's good. Bless this house I'm watching at the moment. Oh, and Unstoppable, that was a good film, that train. And that's all of them for now. Obviously, in time, this pile will grow and, you know, get bigger. That's all I've got so far. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.